Where are you going? You're huge! Look, I'm just a lonely man in the forest. Uh, I'd like some company. Also, have you seen my naked picture? Hey, you want the dick pic? Why are you running away from me? Okay then. So, as per your recommendation, we are playing Firewatch today. Again, I don't know what to expect, so let's go. Nineteen seventy five, huh? You see Julia. My sure do. She likes a lot of bright colors. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with well dressed prof professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. <gasps> we approach her. You are drunk. So, what's your, you know, major? Yeah. You're pretty. No. You slur the words major and it smells like coarse. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm a professor. Cool. You reply. Re reply. What's yours? She asks. She sniffs the air. Toxiology? Was that a burn? You ask. She says. Definitely. Where did she hurt your feelings? She asks if you want to split the cheeseburger. Yeah, this is definitely in the 70s. This is, this is not This is not today. One week later, you and you live my friend. Oh my god! You started with the cheeseburger. <sighs> yes, tall beans confirmed. Good. Ooh, the sensitivity though. Can I... Let's see. Ah, that's a little bit better. Do I... Oh. I thought it was a little chair. <laughs> like one of those camping chairs when you go fishing. This one is highlighted, so I think this is ours. Oh, maybe it did have one of those little fishing chairs on it, huh? You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beers just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog! There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Or bagel. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Bagel. <laughs> Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gently gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Mm, nothing bad could happen. If to Julia while she's walking the dog, it's badass. <sighs> now, bagel and she names in buckets. You adopted a shepherd and you named him Mayhem. Why would you name a shepherd Mayhem? Shepherds are actually really... They are amazing dogs because they're not so harshly bred. Okay, if this was me and I'd had to choose, I think I'd go for the, for the shepherd simply because I know that's a very, very healthy and mentally stable dog. Not to say that bagels aren't. I just have slight preference. Hmm, no. Shepherd. Mayhem is an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, a friend, a child, and a pet all rolled into one. Yes, fur baby. 1979. Um, you talk out on the deck, it's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates from the high desert. What do you think about kids? she asks. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. Ah, <laughs> this is so silly. 
I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple of little idiots. That would be pretty good. One day, why rush? No. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. Sage is absolutely right. That's the best proposal I've ever heard. So why are we here? Do we have our backpack? Trailhead? Don't forget to check in. Hmm. Okay. It's still a little too high sensitivity, so you will have to... Might have to change it later. Oh. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried of getting angrier by the minutes. She walks in after you've done gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having f a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad. You ignore her. That's n none. None of these are healthy options. I'm just saying. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. What? She tells you to fuck yourself and not to be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Why would that be a thing? Like, why can't you just talk it out? Julia still likes to draw. She draws a plant from her research. She draws all the places you go to. She draws you. <laughs> you pose and flex like human. You frolic like Victoria's Secret model. Very nice. That is so cute. Oh. Okay. Spiky. So why are we here? What happened? Poof works. Bonk. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, 1982. Winter summers, you and Yulia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Mayhem runs away. May me ma fuck the, the, the dog. Julia gels. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. I am the same. You confront the attacker. You scare him away. You beat his goddamn face in. You reach into your pocket while you, like like you got a gun and threatens to kill him. You manage to scare. All three. You managed to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asked to take a different path from that day forward. Well, no shit. Sorry. You say, okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Plans to have kids. Gets waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at jail. Oh, jail is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. Jesus, it's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. She absolutely do not. Move, for Christ's sake. Why would you not? But just move. What? Just... I would never convince my partner not to take the job that they want. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard. We shall do it if you won't move. That's really bad, man. You tell her not to pass it up. If it's what she wants, she agrees. She flies back to Boulder three, time three times each semester. Why would you not move, man? Julia sent home from jail and paid leave after having an episode. 
she lost it on a colleague for borrowing borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. He said that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine. Try to forget about it. No, she should talk to someone. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from an early onset dementia. She's 41. You both decide to keep it a secret. <laughs> so pretty! Oh. Mayhem's getting older. He got, he's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. Julia's affection's getting worse. Affliction. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days <laughs> you get the Julia who calls you a, a dope and your unborn children's little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else. Somewhere with 24 hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her to the full time uh, into a full time care facility. You turn to care of her yourself. I think I would. I would want the help. Uh, should I brought papers, maybe? <laughs> oh. Hi. Sorry. Should I have bowed? Our family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in boulders and move her there. You see her every day. Then every other day. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. That is absolutely goddamn horrible. You should never judge someone else's situation holy sh mm. julia's sister susan moves to boulder to move boulder to be close to her she visits her every day you go with her some of the time susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist you won't you've always really liked susan months go by mayhem dies Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. <laughs> Sometimes it takes her a minute to look, look in on you. In the back of her mind you believe it's because you see her less and less. <laughs> After seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in, in the paper for a job. You take it.
Oh man. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm not saying anything. I'm, I'm, ugh. Should never judge someone else's situations. You never know what they're going through. It's not always about the person who's the sickest that needs the most help. Turn on the power. Okay. Hmm? No, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go back in. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Hello, Two Forks Tower. No, I. Mm -mm. I thought I was looking at the sign. Two Forks Tower. This is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Yeah. Uh. Hello. Oh. Um. Hello. Whoever this is. It's Henry, right? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm Henry. Delilah. Oh, hi. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? <laughs> that's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... Sleep forever. <laughs> sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Uh, you killed three ex-husbands. Yeah, you're rebelling against mom. Nobody back home can stand you. Yeah. Okay, you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. Which, after this brief introduction, is not a big shock. <laughs> Ouch. Wow. Uh I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. <laughs> One sec. Now it's my turn. Oh. Okay. Good night. Bye. <laughs> see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh. Is that it? Close. Good night. Hmm. Good night. Welcome to the job. That's one way of getting um, introduced to your job, I guess. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Okay. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, 6? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you mm -hmm. see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? Hmm? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God. What? Oh, Come on. Baby. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Where's west? Are those fucking uh, fireworks? Do I go out? Now I can I go out? No. Uh, I need you to confirm. Do you see them? No. Where? There. Yeah. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. No. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Mm -hmm. The closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. How would I... Like kick the shit out of them? Can I write them a ticket? I'm not really into this event. Like kick the shit out of them sort of straight? 
No, 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 Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over there. <laughs> Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, oh. fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Oh. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually that for all of them. Eh. Secure? Secure. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. Um. So where's that box? Oh. Hop over. Ah uh, no. Where's the? She said on the way. Guess I'm not really going west, but I wanted to check this out. Oh. Oh. Nice. Where was the... Um... Do I just go this way and I will just find it or... She did say on the way. I don't know. D did I miss something? Maybe I was too quick to walk out. Where's my one, two, three, four box? That sounded like a freaking bear. Oh, there. Um I found the supply box. Great. How do I Can I Hello? Why does it sound like there's a bear next to me? One, two, three, four. Ah, uh, cute to read. Run. Hey man. Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his I locked up his lookout and put stuff in his box. Okay. I found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park, but let you get when I get back. When I get back. Pinecone. Hmm. Yes. It's a pinecone. Oh look, that's gorgeous. Hmm. Do I want to eat it? Oh. Is that in case I run into the bear? Close it. Um. So over yonder. Oh. Hey man, I'm supposed to serve you an apple sandwich. Or not, I can't remember. Zoom. Zoom, zoom. Is that, what's that? Looked like a little castle. Now this is looking like, like a place in Blair Witch Project's uh, game. Didn't play it. Watched someone else play because I'm too scared to do stuff like that. I thought that was a note. Um, I guess the bear that I'm hearing is just this fireworks going off, huh? Ooh. Yeah. Do I have to... Attach? Oh. Cute. Scary. I've come to take a firework. You're not allowed. Why is it getting the... Ooh, dude. Ow! Your old back! Ow! Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. I mean, technically, I guess we did break. 
the rope. Old climbing gear? Right. So we need to find a new... Oh, that's an efficient way to stop me from going too far, I guess. I don't know, am I still going the right way? I'm assuming that we will just be wandering west, but do we see or hear the fireworks anymore? Ow. Now? Oh, okay, well. I keep clicking shift because I'm, I'm like hard-coded to think that's uh, sprinting. Oh! Guess you're done, huh? They left their packs tied up here. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Hmm. Can I do anything with that? Kick them? No? Be. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. Mm. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't mm. take into account just plain stupid, does it? I guess it does not stomp it. Okay, good. Oh, shit. Ferret or Irish. Ooh. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Hmm, yes. Brownest bottle I've seen so far. Probably don't need this in my life right now. No, you don't. Hmm, yes. Reddest bottle I've ever oh, seen. Fuck it. I'm not the maid. Can I, yeah, confiscate. Oh, can I? Why wouldn't we clean up? Come on. We have all the time in the world. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm hmm Say for later. Yeah. Also, could we have done that with this granola bar thing that we found? Probably could. And I, I was just there paying attention. Look, we found some shinies. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Hmm. Yeah, I noticed that the volume was a little bit low. And now I've increased it, so let's... Oh my goodness. Oh wow, hello. Your size. Perfect. Good. What I... I found a bra. <laughs> a nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Do we have to? Oh my! I don't want to pick uh, those up. Are, uh, panties? P -p panties? For what? I don't want to say that word again. <laughs> Why? Because you're twelve. Exactly. I just. I don't want to touch them. Oh. Oh. There's a. Uh... Yes. There are two naked <laughs> ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Yeah. <laughs> I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. But they're usually on a screen, not in real life. Oh! I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? <laughs> oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. I know you're lighting fireworks. Quit the fireworks shit or else. Please cool it with the fireworks, okay? You gotta take it easy with the fireworks, alright? You ought to take it easy at the Sizzler buffet. <laughs> oh, hey! Fucking cool it with the fireworks. Please just put it down. We won't light anymore. This guy's creepy, Chelsea. Ha, you probably have a tiny dick. Chelsea, it's my boombox. 
I have a picture with it. Why would that be an insult? Can I do? Went fine. It's done. I hope they drown. I hope they drown. <laughs> I don't think anyone would mourn a couple of future arsonists. I'm just gonna go ahead and not log that as a threat. Thanks. But seriously though, thanks for dealing with it. You're welcome. Can I turn off the radio? So, how will I... It's very cool. Uh, my train of thoughts went out the window completely. I'm trying to balance the volume a little bit. And we'll take a souvenir. Um, no, why would it be a bad thing? Sad man in the forest? Sounds like a party. just left their stuff down here but it would be a bad idea for me to toss it all in the lake right yes i don't think that'd be <laughs> wise if you could refrain from criminal destruction of personal property while on this job that'd be great okay do i have to oh butterfly hello oh Bjorn Fjaril, I think they're called in Swedish. Where are you going? You're huge! Hey! Look, I'm just a lonely man in the forest. Uh, I'd like some company. I have a thing for butterflies. Also, have you seen my naked picture? Hey, you want the dick pic? Do you want the... Do you, why are you running away from me? Okay, so how do we find our way back? My god, the shadow of the fire... The firefly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Clean it up. It's my forest. No. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. Pick it up. Clean it. Clean it. And clean it. Yeah. I did that any lonely man in the forest would have done. Report Meadows. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't yeah. been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Hmm, perfect. I do not know where we're going. Whoa! That's pretty. Um, yeah. So, how, what, how do we go back? Our rope thing broke. Um, not sure. Can't go there. We came from here. So I guess uh, let's go over here. Random direction. Here we come. Let's go. Hop over. Yeah, can't go there. What? Why was my camera forced into that angle? That was weird. Oh. Um, there's a critter out here. A raccoon. <laughs> I can't understand you. <laughs> because I'm whispering. Because you're whispering. <laughs> hey. Hey, little man. Pears, pears, pears. No. No. What the hell? I'm doing a crossword and I figured out the theme. It's homonyms. Pears, pears, pears. The clue was couples peeling fruit. <laughs> That's uh, cool. Anyway, hope you're having a good afternoon. I was. Thanks. I was having a good afternoon. My critter friend ran away. I wanted to be Pocahontas and show him my dick pic. Um, so... I'm not sure where we're gonna go. 
without a rope. Oh, let me down. Nice. At least I know exactly how to find this particular place again. Oh my god, it's my butterfly! Have you considered the dick pic yet? Oh no, I got stuck. Well, I put out their fire. Hmm. Man, I want to name that forest fire something good too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. Kay. I think your first instinct was the right one. Good. Good. A bra. Another pair of panties. You back? No. Maybe if we hide in the bush again, they'll be like there to come back out. Does seem the, the lake does seem like a good spot to swim, and the chance of those kids catching a disease in this lake. Well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim, even if the last people to do so were assholes. <laughs> yeah, right now though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. Start to feel like it. Hmm. Okay, cool. I missed the obvious sign. I was probably staring right at it and be like, no. The other way was funnier. Also, I met a new friend. My uh, butterfly. And the raccoon. Let's not forget about the raccoon. Yeah. He's a lonely man in the forest. No one can take me down. A lonely man. Ooh, a bra! In the forest. Slowly I shall climb. All the hell. Put out the fires. I have a bit of a confession to make. What is, what it? is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night. Oh. Job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Yeah. I don't know, I, I thought that was... A way to break the ice. Oh, look at that. I wanna go where the water goes. I'm not allowed. I'm a big burly man. Climb. Thanks. I I want uh I want a flashlight. Flashlight. I said flashlight. The one that shines light. Heck. What was that? Oh. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? Mm -hmm. It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine. I got hit by lightning when I was nine. Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. Ha <laughs> ha! Ugh. I see my joke did not spark your sense of humor. <laughs> uh, Come on, you're that's not funny. Enjoying our current conversation. Oh my god, lady. The, the arc of our budding friendship. Oh my god. How exactly are you in charge? Oh, Henry, that's a good one. <laughs> you satisfied? Yes. <laughs> that is awesome. Why is it 6479 here? All of a sudden, I guess someone tried to open it. One, two, three, and five, 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 four. I guess I could have done that before, huh? Okay. Oh my god, just when I say it, I guess no bad. Oh, ouch. Hmm, yes. Quite a small one. Uh, away with you. Close you. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Thunder? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. 
So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! <laughs> Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Hmm. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Aw, sorry, Hank. Hank! Hello! It looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. <laughs> uh, another lookout? They go in, they never come out. <laughs> ah, so this is another one of your jokes. Yeah, it is. Yep. Ugh, I love her. She's so funny. Oh, there it is. It's rolling in. We have to run, run it. Run! Run, Hank! Oh, hi. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. <laughs> Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> Oh my yeah, god. Okay, I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Is this really? Jump. Whee! Maybe put that on the report. Someone should go and fix that. Maybe someone with a great sense of humor. So this is where he was standing. And now we do it, and there's someone standing down there. Where do you think he went? Hello? Person, do you want to be my new butterfly? I got a great picture to show you. You'll love it. 10 out of 10. Come on. Can I? Yeah. This is scary. Sort of feels cold too. Why would I hop over? And also this, this flashlight sucks. I want one of those strong ones from Alan Wake. You know? Light up the entire forest. Here I come. Hank the burly man. I guess we continue up. It's so convenient that they have placed those rocks here. Oh. Oh! Oh, wow. Well, that trail isn't closed anymore. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was <laughs> backbreaking, but you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. How good, how good. Yes. Hmm? Ah. Oh, <gasps> Jesus. Um, so it's, uh, just the outhouse, then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go mm -hmm. wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Thanks for that information. I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. <laughs> Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. <gasps> well, he really freaked me out as a kid. 
Freaks me out now. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. Mm. What kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> mm. I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, well, it's still better than Forest Burns. I think he saw my picture and he's ecstatic to see me. You like it? You really like that, huh? What's that in your hand? Is it the p p p panties? So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hair dryer? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. <laughs> I could never. Yeah, me neither. Really? Me. Okay, we did our first mission. Very good. Huh? Was this here all along? Did someone go up? Did I throw it? Uh, what? Why was this here? I'll just bring it up. Oh. Uh, what can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? <clears throat> yeah. Look, uh, the wind. No. How the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. Someone broke in. They what? They just mm -hmm. they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Why? Why? I'm gonna have to fix the window. Tomorrow, Henry. You won't be cold. Yeah, but... Okay, I put in a call. Well, what can they do about it? W will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five O. Do you have any idea who would have done this? The kids. I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Hmm. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Yeah. Well, I sure don't now. Yeah, exactly. You will. I, I promise. How can you promise something like that? Oh. I guess we're going for day two.